Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed, welcome to my channel. You type psql and you receive this error message command not found. You don't understand why. Let me explain to you. We have environment variable called path. In this variable, we store all the directories of the executable file where the shell need to search if you type a certain command because behind each command a certain executable file so when we echo for our path here variable as you see in this list there is no directory for the psql how i know i install it postgresql uh, it should be somewhere in my library uh, postgresql 14 in my case bin and somewhere here is the executable file psql and what i need to do now is add this directory to this list and i want that this information persist with all the future sessions that i will open so this information should take place in my configuration file i use the shell that means my configuration file will have the name zsh rc rc stand for resource configuration I jump inside this file, jump to the end with shift G, open a new line with O and type export path is equal. Now the new directory is forward slash library, forward slash postgre, SQL 14, bin, colon, now the old path variable because we want to append to it escape write and quit okay now if i will type let me clear first psql okay now he know about it and he asked me for the password of the default user i don't want to connect with this user so i will press ctrl c to cancel now if you type psql dash dash help you will see all the possible options that you get with this command um, and the two that i need is minus d for database name and i will need minus u capital for the user and if i type here psql minus d but let me first clear psql minus d braham creation to go is the name of my database and the user is moment it's me okay now he asked me for the password and i am inside my database i don't need to stay there now that's why i will quit and the next time i don't want to prompt this password story each time to fix it you need to create a text file and write there some informations and this is what i will do now vim piggy pass insert mode first host name local host in my case port 5432 database name Braham creation to go username Mohamed and my password command mode save the file okay now this file need to have only the user permission read and write all the other permissions should be deleted how we see permissions we could see it for example with the option l and a and we should see here somewhere piggy here piggy pass and there as you see the user have write and uh, read and write and here we have in the groups read we should delete it and other read we should delete it also that's me change mode group minus read piggy pass and 
other minus read PG pass. So now LS minus LA. Okay, it looks good. Now let me create a script to do for me the connection, for example. Maybe you don't need to do it, but I want, for example, to write a small script. When I write my script minus C, I want to get directly inside my database. It's only a way out to do it. At the end, you do what you want. So there, um, I am now inside the directory where I'm creation to go. There, I want to create a new file. I will call it condb, for example. And I will write the uh, shibang line first, hash sign, and the executable file of my shell is bin zsh. Now uh, open a new line and write there if the user uh, type there in the first parameter the minus c i want that you connect to my postgres sql that's mean the creation to go and with the user mohammed now let me close my if statement and check if everything is good right and quit now I will uh, create an alias that points to my executable file. But first here I need to change the mode quickly because if we make ls uh, minus l, sorry. As you see here we need to make it executable. That means change mode plus x. Okay, we can make it everywhere, no matter. And now it is an executable file. So to add an alias that will be there each time I open your session, I need to put it in my configuration file. That means I go again to my home directory and open the zshrc. Jump to the end, open a new line, alias, uh, is what let's say my script is equal to the directory of my script it is in my own directory and creation to go and the name was condb now save this stuff close it now clear and if i will type my script minus c something is wrong i think with my script so let's go cd brown creation to go then um uh, yeah there i need to have some space now if i will type it yeah i am inside my database i hope you enjoyed the video and learned something don't forget to subscribe the channel to see more see you next time bye bye